And welcome back to Blackie's Bulldog Tavern here in Smithfield. Mike Mancuso now joined by Peter McMahon. And Peter, congratulations. 2012 NEC Tournament Champion. Thank you. 2012 NEC First Team as well as an attackman for the Bulldogs. You finished the season with 23 goals and 25 assists to be second on the team in scoring. Just great stuff. Thank you. So uh, let's get to it. Some of the tournament stuff. In the regular season finale, you guys fell to Robert Morris. How did you guys regroup and prepare for the NEC tournament? And how difficult was it to rebound from such a tough loss? Well, I mean, that game was a battle in itself. Um, we played hard. Uh, thought we played pretty well. But uh, unfortunately, we couldn't, we couldn't pull it out. But um, after the game was over, we kind of took time to look it over, kind of regroup. And then we worked hard all week in practice, getting ready, for, uh, getting ready to hopefully uh, make it to we play them again in the finals. So. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, right before your semifinal mm -hmm. game against Quinnipiac, Mount St. Mary's knocks off Robert Morris, the number yeah. one seed, in overtime. Mm -hmm. How did that impact your game against the Bobcats? Uh, we actually had no idea. Um, we were kind of hunkered down in our locker room, um, just focusing on the game against Quinnipiac. Uh, we had no idea until after the game when Coach P told us that, uh, that we'd be playing Mount St. Mary's. Wow. Very really cool. Now, roughly five minutes into the Quinnipiac game, mm -hmm. you guys had to sit through a 55-minute lightning delay. Yeah. Considering that the start of your game had already been pushed back because of overtime, how difficult was it to kind of like stay pumped up and ready to play? And what did you guys actually do during that delay? We are prepared for, uh, for anything. Um, coach had been talking about there, there was some questionable weather in the area for the night. Yeah. But um, we, when we went into the locker room, we were just kind of relaxed. Uh, no one was trying to amp anybody up. We, we knew that we had 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes of a, rain, of a lightning delay. So we just kind of took our pads off, kind of relaxed, uh, listened to some music, uh, really just had a good time. Yeah, yes. it seems like it's worked out pretty yeah. well as you guys went on to win. Uh, in the final game, you guys raced out to a 10-1 lead at the half. Yeah. And, you know, playing on short rest, how did you guys manage to come out with that much energy and just dominate right from the get-go? Well, I mean, I think everybody was just kind of amped up to play. Uh, it was the finals. It's, it's what we've been working for all year. And so I, I, I think it was just all on us. It was, we were just bottled up, and we just let it all out for that, for that game. A lot of hard work throughout the whole yeah, season exactly. leading up to that moment. Mm -hmm. And then how satisfying was it to return to Pittsburgh where you yeah. just lost a week ago and you're able to take down the whole field and win the tournament? Absolutely. Well, uh, like last season we unfortunately lost to Mount St. Yeah. Mary's in the semifinals. So it was kind of uh, a good feeling taking them down yeah. like, like we did in the finals right. this year. And now what does it mean to you to be part of the first Bryant team to win a Division I postseason title? Uh, it feels great. Um, that's really kind of why we all chose to come to Bryant University is to kind of be on, be the building blocks for this uh, for this Division One lacrosse program, um, especially for the seniors. Uh, this is this is huge. Uh, this is what they've worked for for the four years that they've been here, and uh, it's a, it's really a great way for them to go out. Right now, as one of the underclassmen, how important was it for you and the rest of your underclassmen to make sure that those seniors went out with a victory? Oh, it was huge for us. It was huge, but uh, at the same time, I was talking to Matt Larson after the game, and he said, he said if you don't do the same thing next year, you're kind of letting us all down. So we have we have some big shoes to fill, and uh, we're ready we're ready again to do it again next year. Absolutely. And now throughout the season, there was lots of memorable games. You know, now putting the tournament aside, yep. what was the most memorable game for you? Um, I think the Drexel game. Uh, we were down, I think, six goals or five goals yep. late late in the third quarter, and and somehow we, we pulled it pulled it through and came back with the victory. Uh, that or our first game against Mount St. Mary's, um, we just, I think that was our first full game on offense where we just absolutely dominated. Yeah, that 17-9 victory in yeah, Bulldog Stadium, that was a great time. And now, out of the memorable games, did you have one defining or very memorable moment for you this season? Um, I'd say in the Drexel game, uh, I scored the first goal of the game for us. Uh, I think there were three minutes left in the third quarter, and that kind of got us got us going. I think we scored another goal 15 seconds later, so that kind of sparked us, and that, that was probably my my defining moment this yeah, year. It was a great one indeed. Thank you. Um, and what will you miss most about this group of graduating seniors? Um, I don't know. There's so much. Um, from Jay being a great leader to a great friend, uh, Matt Larson, who I've sat next to in the locker room for the past three years. Uh, there's really going to be a lot that we're going to that we're going to miss. Yeah. And what's next for you for the summer, for the off season? What do you? How are you going to be spending your time? Um, shooting, <laughs> shooting a lot. Uh, definitely trying to 
trying to improve on some of the areas where I was not very good this year. Yeah. But uh, playing a lot of lacrosse, uh, just kind of trying to get in shape, stay in shape, mm -hmm. and uh, be prepared for next year. Yeah. And now finally, with an automatic qualifier now for yeah. the NAC that's going to be on the line, how excited are you about getting back to it and just getting yeah. back to practice and getting that season yeah. started? I think uh, it's definitely going to be a lot different next year going into tournament play. Yep. Um, there's going to be so much on the line. Everybody's going to want that AQ. Uh, I know that we will, and we'll be uh, we'll definitely be ready for it. But uh, we're really excited about that next year. I think a lot of people are excited around <laughs> yes. here. And uh, again, we congratulate you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for being back on the show. You were on our first show this season. <laughs> now you're on the last. Yeah. This is Peter McMahon of the Bryant Men's Lacrosse Team. When we come back, we'll take a look back at the season that was in 2012 here on the Mike Fressler Show.